Hi you all, welcome back to Kinder Crafty. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I transitioned my son's toy shelf into a bookshelf. So if you've been following me for a while, you remember about two years ago, I showed you how I displayed my son's toys on the same shelf. Now today he's a preschooler, he's about four and a half, and now we're adding more books in rather than just toys. So come along and find out how I did it. Okay, so on the top we have his little CD player. He found one of mine from my classroom from years ago out in the garage sale and he wanted it so badly and I sold it to my neighbor. So we got him his own CD player and he's loving listening to some music. We have um, these little blocks for the date. I got those in the Target dollar spot. And we've got his um, Melissa and Doug um, clock. So you can see that that's different from the last time. I had a bunch of um, big wooden toys up on top. In this bin, um, we still have some toys. We have, oh, blocks and like Tigu magnetic um, toys. Then this cubby, you'll notice, is all books now. So we have seasonal books up here. So they're all like January, February. So like snow and ice, Arctic animals, um, President's, Valentine's Day, Groundhog's Day. So that's all January, February. Down here in this um, cubby, we all we have all of our favorite authors. So I put books in here that we have like more uh, than one uh, by the same author. So those are favorite, famous, uh, favorite authors. Sorry, you all. It's like 8.30 in the morning. Um, those are favorite authors. In this bin, we still have some wooden cars. He doesn't play with them much, but I just can't get rid of them yet. And it's right here next to his little road rug from Ikea. So occasionally, when I'm working in here, like folding his clothes or something, um, putting things away, he will get them out and play with them. Um, in this bin down here, it's all instruments. And in this section down here is all readers like leveled text or phonics readers now we have a bunch more out in the learning cabinet which is in the living room but these are all kind of like themes that he picked out superheroes and legos and that kind of stuff more his choice than mine in his room we've got his piggy bank that he just got for his um for christmas and a couple other toys this is a little um doctor kit i made him years ago there's a video on my channel, some other Christmas toys. And then over here in this bin, this is one of those magazine um, containers that I got fr um, from really good stuff years ago. They, they were in my classroom. Anyway, this is all Daniel Tiger stuff. Now he's really kind of grown out of Daniel Tiger, but I thought that I would keep the whole, all of them together as a group because I thought if I ever sell them or give them, a, give them away, someone would probably appreciate having all of them as a set. And then over in this section, this little sailboat bin from Pottery Barn Kids was in his nursery when he was a baby. I kept diapers and wipes in it. Now in here, these are just like random books that maybe I only have one of, or we've pulled them off the bookshelf and not filed them away yet. So this is just kind of like overflow. We've got some wooden puzzles down here. His little inflatable globe. This is just, I like to put out fun little seasonal things. That plays Let It Snow. I know it might be kind of Christmassy, but I think snowmen are just fun for winter. And then over here, he has his comfy chair in the corner, um, just with a stuffed snowman. So that is his now, I consider this more his reading section than like his toy shelves. I think it's a little bit more educational. So obviously we're gonna start phasing out um, some of the toys and putting more um, books in. So I hope you found um, this helpful. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.